Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the first problem from the latest Code Chef September Long Challenge problem name a problem on sticks. So you can understand or read the problem statement but in simple terms it states that you are given n sticks and then what you can do here is you can perform some steps in which you can cut the sticks. Now how you can cut the sticks? you can choose some level edge some integer edge and then fix the cutter at the height edge above the ground so i'll also draw this out so let's assume that you have some sticks okay let's see let's assume that you have these sticks now you let's assume that set a cutter at this position now you will start this cutter from left to right and keep on cutting all the sticks which have a length greater than or equal to cutter so like you will cut out these portions so now what you can understand that the cutter moved from first to the nth stick whenever it, it encountered a stick whose current height is greater than h as you can see its current height is greater than h then it cuts the stick down to h so it will cut out that part and the stick height will become down to h so it will remove the upper part but the constraint in this question is all the upper part of the sticks that are cut in one operation must be equal length so what does this mean if you cut out some stick top length then the top length of all the sticks which are cut should be equal so let's assume that you have cut down five sticks or in this question like the two sticks are cut so the part which is cut should be equal so in this as you can assume that i have cut down a part of length two so in this also a part of length 2 should be cut and all the sticks which are cut so let's assume that this one more stick so in this also a uh, part of 2 should be cut so now you have to first set your height according to this const constraint and then what you can have to do there is let you are given these sticks so you can only cut the sticks in this fashion and then you have to make all the sticks equal to 0 so now you have to tend the minimum number of operations or minimum number of cuts you have to do to make all the sticks equal to 0 so that's the question now first draw two or three test cases to understand so let's assume that those sticks length are 1 2 3 okay now if you take let's assume the cutter length equal to 1 now it will cut out this and this the top part is 1 the pop part is 2 so this is not possible you cannot do this so now you can only cut a top part of this because in this only the top part is of length 1 and this is the only possible cut you have done there is only one stick so now after cutting this both of the sticks become length 2 initially is 1 2 3 so if you cut out one part it will become 1 2 and 1 now again cut out one length so it will this one length is cut down so then 1 1 1 length is remaining then cut this part out and then there is a 0 0 0 now in this you can understand that okay i can only cut down the part if the length is same because if the length is different then we have to do some single operation only so now let's assume that you are given some length which is like three one one length three length and again three length so what you can do you can cut down this hole to the height like cut two two from both of these ends then everyone will, will become equal to 1 and then again cut this down so what you can understand here is you can find out first how many same type of sticks are there because the same type of sticks will decrement at the same speed because or they, or they can cut down at the same time so what you can see here is first find out how many only distinct type of sticks are there because the same sticks we don't matter because they will cut down at the same time so let's assume that there are two types of sticks or you can iterate over all the sticks and store them in a set after storing them in the set you will know that okay there are four different type of sticks so the distinct type of sticks let's assume that there are uh, a length of two length of four length of five and length of six and then what you can understand here is you will go from left to right and then you can only decrease this stick length in the same manner such that the length should be same the cut so what you can 
understand here is the maximum length is 6 so first decrease the maximum height of this to 5 so how much decrement we have to do 1 and now 2 lengths of 5 will occur now take this 5 and decrement this to 4 so now 3 length of 4 will occur and now there is 3 length of 4 now decrement all of them to 2 so for every 2 if there is some change then I have to do one step if there is change in some length we have to do one step so what you can do you have to first find out how many distant elements are there and for every distant element you will just take out these two two distant elements and just uh, for every two distant elements you will do one operation cut them cut them out and then in the end only one stick is left so you have to just do only one type of stick is left so you also have to do one type of operation and cut everything down so for if there are n distant sticks you have to do n different operations so that's the logic for this question now let's move on to the code part now so code is also very simple iterate over all the n elements and store all the n elements in the set because it will store all the elements which are distant also there is one case which like most of you can get stuck out the candle length can be zero also so if let's assume there is some candle length of length 0 0 0 so now if there is some candle length of 0 you will iterate over this in the set and in the set you will store 0 and now if you store 0 you will return the set size and the set size is equal to 1 because there is one element of size 0 and thus you will tell that okay one step is required but if all the sticks are 0 you don't require any steps now because it, they are already 0 so you will only save in the set if a is greater than equal to 0 then only we will push because for that stick only we have to do some operation and then in the end we just have to return out the size of the set i hope you understand the logic as well as the code so let me know what's been mentioned down thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye